So this function is pretty simple. This is the portal function, and there have been lots of tutorials about drones, but I'll go over it a little bit anyway. Just make a new drone, move it to whatever location got passed in, and then we make a big square using whatever material got passed in. So that's either brick or obsidian, depending. And so we just make a square out of that, and then we fill in that's the inside of that square with the um, with a portal block. But the reason we're not using just a drone place block of type to place the shimmery purple um, portal block is that we want to do something a little extra whenever we place those portal blocks because when s when a player touches those, that is when we want to transport them to the other portal. So that's why every time we set one of those shimmery purpley nether portal blocks, we do it inside of this function, which I'll show you right here. Set portal block. So here's the drone places block of type portal. So that's the normal thing that you would expect. But here is an, another toggle if statement. So it'll switch back and forth between doing these two things. But what what is this? What is this set hidden data? Well, set hidden data is a way to store some information at some location in Minecraft. It's not information that the player can see. You can't see it in Minecraft. But at the location of the drone, there's going to be basically like a variable named portal. And that variable is going to have the value red. And, uh, you know, and it switches between doing this and doing this, so sometimes you might also have some other location whose value is black. But what that does is, let's say we have, here's our portal, and it's made out of obsidian, and then in here, that's where the purple nether portal stuff is, and there's some hidden data stored at each of these locations. Each of the blocks that make up the nether portal, there's some hidden data there that we can check later whenever the player touches it. And that way we'll know if the player is walking through one of the red portals or through one of the black portals because we've stored some hidden, like basically some hidden invisible breadcrumbs at each of the blocks that looks like a uh, purple shimmery nether portal. In the next video, we'll look at how we access that hidden data in order to decide where to teleport the player.